parallel and you had some with large columnar joints, you some with small columnar joints, very, very geometric. So we came up this, this valley. And then, uh, I don't know if you heard me on the, on the radio, we came over, all of a sudden, the basalt was gone and you saw other rocks and what's what's happening there. Well, welcome to the accretionary process. What you can find out with many of these accretionary rocks, the following happened, that's what I'm trying to demonstrate here. So you have all these little slivers that float with the, the tectonic plate um, toward the American craton, right? And as you slam in, you slivers do the following. and see if I can dem demonstrate it really good. Ah, there we go. They tilt up. Mm. And you're getting all these parallel strike lines that are almost exactly parallel to the coastline. Going down all the way from here down to, to California. And then what happened later as you have these vertical ones kind of sticking up, then you're getting also some selective melting from below and fluids are going to come up through these parallel cracks. And they are often, and especially in California, it's usually quartz, you know, a little melting point. But with these fluids and because of the tectonic activity, um, you're getting also gold come up with it. And you get these quartz lanes that have an almost exact north-south strike line. And they come up vertically and gold and quartz is an immiscible phase. So the, the gold literally um, congeals in little blobs and gets trapped inside the quartz. And what happened in California, now here we, we don't see this as much, but if we go south of California, you will see that. You find a gold mine here. And you can follow this line, and this is why all these gold mines are almost exactly on, on a straight line. Wow. Right? They follow this quartz thing basically through. But watch it as we drive through. This almost vertical tilting is so common in the in these rocks because of, of that that process, the accretionary process. I mean, if these things just don't slam in like this, they you know, they flop up as we. Uh, the North American craton moves westward and the other plate moves eastward and they'll have it. And these mountains of course is part of the buckling result, so you get this, this buckling as well. And then you have these tons of volcanoes who contribute their fanfare to this whole this whole system on top of it. Beautiful mountains. Now as you notice as we came in on the east side, it was fairly dry. As long as they had river, you see all the fruit trees. Um, I wonder if they are on, on drip of some kind, because if you look up on the mountain, they were totally barren. I mean, it was like brown. And go, yeah, that's ugly. But everything was green at a certain point. You know, they had grapes there, the apple trees. Um, well, what happens is, on this east side of the mountains, you're in a rain shadow. So it usually has to be with an adiabatic rate as the moist air comes in from the Pacific. It has to rise. You lower the dew point. You're getting all these fantastic clouds on the on the west side, and um, you rain this off. Now, as the air rises over the mountain and it comes down the other side, it warms up. It's kind of a weird phenomenon. So as the air actually drops, the temperature increases. And with this one, your dew point kind of starts to disappear and so does your relative humidity. And we, we're creating these rain shadow deserts in uh, Southern California. It's really bad. You have the Mojave after this one. I mean, you have a real desert desert. No more rain. Very, very rarely. Here it's a little better because they still get huge amount of snowfalls on the top of these mountains. I mean, uh, if you ever been there in the winter, yeah. <laughs> you know that, um, and you see this sometimes on the poles there, these are snowplow poles, you know, they're like 10 feet high, so he knows where to drive, <laughs> because you, you, you get um, like eight foot of snow on the side of the roads, people, what? you know, you have to tunnel through that stuff coming 
coming down the mountains. So they, they still have a much more moisture. You see it on the plants. We are picking up ferns now. We're getting in what they call these, these, these temperate rainforests. It gets worse with me on, on, on the other side. You, you grow all kinds of cool plants up there that you, that you rarely see because of the, the high precipitation rates. So a little bit of, of background. But yes, you are now officially check this off on your bucket list. I have been to a convergent oceanic to continental plate boundary. Check. Yes. <laughs> yeah, in the middle of it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cut. <laughs>